The Ministry of Education in the last 12 months has advanced its plans to introduce St. Lucia's indigenous Quayol language in public schools throughout the island. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre speaking at the inaugural Dance and Drum Juve Spectacle, which formed part of official commemorative activities for St. Lucia's Emancipation Day observers on August 1st, espoused his vision to have St. Lucian history also included in the national school curriculum. The events this year are more than just a long overdue commemoration of, of Emancipation Day. They are the enkindling of a movement for the comprehensive education of our people in their history and cultural heritage so that this knowledge can inspire their values and aspirations and underpin their path to development. As I have said before, this means that this government will embark on initiatives to teach our St. Lucian children and African history in our schools. We will introduce the teaching of our Creole language in the education system and enact legislation to make Creole an official language of our country. Honorable Pierre also remains committed to pursuing restorative justice. He has pledged St. Lucia's continued advocacy for and collaboration with the CARICOM Reparations Committee in the ongoing regional push for reparations from the island's former colonial rulers. Our new celebrations of Emancipation Day are also the revitalization of our participation in the movement for reparations. That was denied our ancestors when they were given legal freedom from slavery in 1848, but were not granted compensation for the enslaved labor. As you should know, the plantation owners and slave masters were paid by the British government for the loss of their so-called property, the slaves. But the so-called property received nothing. St. Lucia will continue to work to ensure that this injustice is cured. So let this year's celebration be the rekindling of the hope for a better future for ourselves and for our people. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.